Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for May 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading, okay? So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Yes. Um, yeah. So I just want to say that these messages, these monthly messages, even though they're coming out for this specific time period, time is an illusion okay so i really do want to say i want to help really express that these messages are timeless so if at any moment you're guided to watch this video after may of 2019 then it's probably going to be a message that resonates with you okay time is an illusion all right so energy is fluid so it doesn't move in a linear fashion yes all right cool so keeping it cute with the monthly readings here, do a little bit of the same, but also a little bit different. I am going back to starting with the uh, the tarot messages for the beginning of the reading, and then the oracle messages is back at the end of the reading. But instead of using the oracle of the unicorns, this time I'm using the crystal mandala deck. Yes, for a more clear and um, accurate, I guess, um, guidance. Okay, guys. I think that's it. So let's just get into it, Pisces. Oh, here we go. Also, um, we do have cross watchers walking, uh, watching, okay? So the message that I'm bringing forward is general. So even if I'm saying it in a specific way that doesn't quite resonate with your situation, but the, but the messages itself resonates, just place it where it goes, okay? It can go in either direction. Yes, even though I'm speaking to the Piscean here, okay? Excellent. Here we go, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for Pisces at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for May 2019. This is Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, so I did do a little bit of a pre-shuffle here in the beginning before I started recording the, started the recording here. And the King of Wands with the Fool came out with the Ten of Pentacles underneath the deck. Um, and then I was guided to look underneath that Ten of Pentacles and it was the Devil. So you could be dealing with a, a fire sign, uh, specifically a Leo with the King of Wands, but it could be an Aries or a Sagittarius as well. And you could be dealing with a, another Piscean in the Fool energy, but you also could be dealing with a Capricorn with the Devil, okay? Um, I don't want you to think that the Devil appearing is all that bad. Uh, there is a new start that's happening here for you. Um, you could be the, the, the you could be the King of Wands in this situation, Pisces, or there could be another person around you that you're connecting with that isn't necessarily a fire sign, um, but is feeling sprung maybe, um, or is just feeling very sure of themselves, very confident, knowing exactly what they want and how to get it, but also could be in an energy of holding back, waiting for the right time to strike. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles is an energy of. Um, uh, you know, it does. I personally, I see the Ten of Pentacles as representing time itself, even though time is an illusion. It's still part of our three dimensional human existence right now. So it is a factor in certain things. Um, but in case of in the case of time here, the Ten of Pentacles would represent being in the t in, in, in t being in something for the long haul. Yes. Um, going the distance, putting in the time, the effort that's necessary to really bring something to fruition, bring something to completion. It also could be your career, um, your finances. Uh, so some of you Pisceans, you could be really working on building your career. Um, maybe you have come into a final understanding of what it is you want to be doing in life and moving forward in that direction, taking, you know, little steps put possibly. Um, but really knowing when the right time to strike is very key here. But then with the devil that's un that was underneath the Ten of Pentacles, there's some sort of fear or attachment. Someone may be um, attached to a way of being or um, a certain circumstance that could kind of be hindering the process, but 
it's kind of funny because that devil energy really kind of feels obsolete in terms of what you may know as the king of wands or the other person whoever is representative of the king of wands now both of you could be in this king of wands energy if you are connecting with another person um but yeah the devil energy is kind of obsolete like yeah it's kind it may it might be kind of scary and he's kind of smirking saying like ha ha i'm hindering your process but you're kind of sitting there as the king of wands like um no you're really not but that's okay I'm going to let you believe that you are, but in, in reality, like in the back of my mind, I'm like, you, your time is wearing thin. Okay, buddy. <laughs> All right. So Pisces, I'm going to give this three more shuffles and then we'll see what we've got for your month. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of May, 2019. Best messages, please. Spirit, what's going on from a Piscean? Uh-oh. Whew. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for May 2019. One last shuffle, Pisces, and we'll see what we've got for you. Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My Pisceans. All right, Pisces, overall energy. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so you really could be dealing with a Capricorn here because um, this is the ar archetype of... of of Capricorn, but it also could be another earth sign, Virgo or Taurus. Um, Pisces, I feel like you're in a very loving energy, a very connected, grounded, mother-like, nurturing energy. Um, you might be embodying the feminine archetype here. You don't have to be. Um, whether you're a male or a female, this is energy, not gender, okay? Um, but you really also could be very focused on your finances right now, on your career. And I, I kind of feel like this is a focus on, in terms of building your life so that you can have a family in, uh, of some sort, potentially, if that's what you're looking for. If not, um, you know, this is, this being the Capricorn archetype, this is like boss lady or boss man, like, you know, the CEO of the Zodiac in, 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 as Capricorn, um, very focused on your finances, very focused on your career, especially in terms of the Ten of Pentacles. Now, again, there is an energy of looking, focused on the long term, okay? Being in being into something for the long haul. And with this, this motherly nurturing type energy of the Queen of Pentacles, you really, some of you really may be focused on building your life in terms of having a family, okay? Which is beautiful. Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles now, Pisces. Uh, lots of financial... Um, lots of financial focus, but also I feel like you Pisces or maybe someone else, this could be the cross watcher, um, but somebody here is really focused on being the wife, the mother, the counterpart, the feminine energy to the male, the, to the, the feminine energy to the masculine counterpart, okay, or the masculine energy, um, and it looks like you are, especially because you see here, this the, the 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 Queen of Pentacles is very focused on that on that Pentacle. She's she's really like looking at it, and it's almost as if she's manifesting some sort of offer of commitment here with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, that's really beautiful. Underneath that, oof, you've got the Ten of Swords, Pisces. Wow, that's actually really great. Holy shit. There's that Ten of Pentacles again, right underneath everything. Like literally when, the, when I was doing the pre-shuffle and the King of Wands and the Fool came out, this was underneath the deck and here it is again. So, okay, this is awesome. But now also looky here, you have two tens. 1010. If you've been following me for some time, you know that over the morning coffee readings, um, a few weeks ago, we were in a 1010 cycle. 1010 being completion, okay? Um, and if you haven't checked out Morning Coffee, if you're new to my channel, please go ahead and check out Morning Coffee. It's a great thing. I have really grown to appreciate it and love it. I love doing it. It's a daily reading I do every day, first thing when I get up in the morning. So it's fantastic. Check it out. But with this Ten of Swords, you've recently come to a situation in which a major cycle has been closed out to you. I'm hearing narcissistic energies, toxic toxicity. Um, and that actually, with the King of Wands and the Devil that came out in the overall, uh, not, I'm sorry, in the, the pre-shuffle, um, the King of Wands can be a very narcissistic individual, very self-centered, very selfish. Uh, and then the Devil was underneath the Ten of Pentacles here, so that is toxicity, codependency, addiction, um, uh, attachment. I really feel like, Pisces, you guys have really put that 
cycle to a close or maybe you're just over the month of may you are working on closing out that cycle and you're embodying a brand new archetype that's way more loving way more nurturing and it actually really is the counterpart to the king of pentacles um who would be positively aspected and you know hardworking, caring loving compassionate commitment oriented relationship oriented family oriented you've really gotten past this cycle of toxicity and narcissism um that may have been plaguing you in the past and now you're working towards the future in this brand new vibration ace of pentacles all right so now getting into the uh the the reg the, the general messages here splitting it up in first and second halves of the reading. You could look at it as the first and second half of your month. If that if it resonates for you that way, then take it, please. But if but but I also recommend that you don't necessarily look at it that way. Just look at it. I would recommend looking at it as the first half of the reading and the second half of the reading because again, energies are fluid. Um, they do not run on a linear time frame or a, a, in a linear fashion. So just take it, the messages as they go as just and just fit them into your life wherever they fit. Okay? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, you have the Emperor. So you could be dealing with an Aries. You could have Aries in your chart. Taking control of your life. Um, for some of you, you really are working on manifesting a counterpart here. But this is really taking control, um, being the master of your own domain. I am seeing a bit of balance between the masculine and feminine energies here with the Queen of Pentacles. That's the first card in your overall energy. And then as the Emperor, you're really, you're very powerful right now, Pisces. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. The Emperor is coupled with, wow, the King of Swords. Okay. You could be dealing with an Aquarian. You may have Aquarius in your chart or maybe another Earth sign, Gemini or Libra. But this is, this is very balanced and very diplomatic here. And this is the energy that you have come into that has allowed you to, to put those old cycles to rest and start a new one, okay? So anything that, that doesn't resonate with you, you're kind of in a position of saying, okay, well, show me why I should still entertain this and then maybe we'll see. Keep in mind, this is not the queen of, Pent uh, queen of Swords. This is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is much more diplomatic than the Queen. The King of Swords is willing to hear you out. And coupled with the Emperor energy, this is a very balanced energy, okay? This is very good. Okay, second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Pisces, you have the Two of Wands. Okay, so you're making a decision. Um, I really feel like many of you... I Maybe many of you are, or I'm just picking this up because it's fairly strong for this collective that I'm channeling for. But there is, this is, many of you are are very relationship oriented, I really feel like. Um, and you're in a position with the emperor and the king of swords, whether you're a, ma a, a man or a woman, okay? It doesn't matter. This is energy. And even if you resonate more with the feminine energy, I do feel like you, P you guys that I'm channeling for have really been working on balancing your masculine and feminine energies together, okay? You're holding this queen of pentacles energy while taking action with the masculine energy here of the emperor and the king of swords. But you're very family-oriented, relationship-oriented, or commitment-oriented oriented or at least that's on your mind right now and you're in the process of making decisions especially with this king of swords energy on which direction to move in that's going to bring you the desired result okay two of wands is coupled with the six of swords leaving the past behind you yes pisces can i get an amen for this one like you really are leaving the past behind but you're really being super diplomatic about it okay and that's fantastic Honestly, I just heard there's no reason to get snippy or be cutting or childish or whatnot. Like, it literally does not matter. That's not going to help me moving forward. That's only going to generate negative karma. I don't want that shit. So I'm just going to be as diplomatic as possible, and I'm going to move forward with my life. End of story. I like that. I like that a lot. And there's a lot of healing energy within the Six of Swords too, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, you have the Ace of Wands. All right. See, now, this is a challenge for you, Pisces, because you have, you are sprung or you, you have a new idea. You have a new creative um, 
vision, a new creative inspiration that you're working with. And so with the two of wands here, you're holding your ace of wands and holding the world in the other hand, as you can see here, right, which is your creative vision and trying to figure out which way is best for you to go in terms of collecting what it is or manifesting what it is that you want. Some of you may have already made this decision, but others of you, I feel like over the, over the process or over the, um, over the month of May, potentially you are feeling this out. Okay, you're in control of your life, you're in control of your domain, you're observant, you're seeing things as they truly are, you're not jumping to conclusions, you're making sane, solid, diplomatic decisions on what it is you are inspired by. Yes? Ace of Wands, or I'm sorry, inspired either inspired by or inspired towards, okay? Ace of Wands in your challenge is coupled with the Six of Cups. Some of you really do want a family. Some of you have met a soulmate. Some of you, um, yeah. The challenge here, Pisces, for those of you that have potentially met a soulmate, someone that has really piqued your interest, the challenge here is the game of time. Ten of Pentacles, being in it for the long haul. You might be really excited about this, feeling really exuberant um, and really just want to move forward, but time is of the essence. Ten of Pentacles, okay? Letting things play out, being as diplomatic as you can, focused on your balance, being in control of your life, being the master of your, ma your domain and just doing what is right for you to continue to be in this queen of pentacles state, which is the mother, the, the, the wife type, it, 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 the receptive energy, I'll say, okay? Um, being, staying in this energy to receive that counterpart that you are looking for or you're already aware of, you're kind of sprung on, yes? <laughs> Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, you have the eight of cups. Okay, moving away from something, leaving the past behind you, or in this case, having your life neatly stacked. Your life is together. You got it good here. A, the emperor and the king of swords. You got it good, Pisces. So now you're walking, moving forward, leaving those eight cups neatly stacked so that you can find those two cups to complete your ten. The two of cups, yes? Mm -hmm. Eight of cups is coupled with the four of pentacles. Ooh, interesting. For some of you, this being, I'm kind of seeing this as a closing message here. For some of you, you're needing to let go of something and just walk away. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, even if you say, say you are sprung on someone and things are not necessarily going as you prefer, right now it's probably just best to like leave it as it is, let go, detach, move forward, just keep doing you and allowing things to manifest naturally. I really don't feel like you really have to do much. Now, some of you have recently let go of some things, maybe some things that were very deeply rooted for you. Um, there was a firm foundation within it, even though it may have been toxic and not, and not beneficial for you with that devil energy that appeared in the pre-shuffle, you finally have been able to let go of it. Okay. So now getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies, you have the five of wands. All right, so there's conflict, there's confusion, maybe there's some competition, healthy competition, I would say. Um, this is not destructive competition. Maybe if you are connecting with someone, maybe you have options, or maybe you or the other person is recognizing that um, maybe even if, you, even if you guys do feel this spark between each other, that doesn't mean they're the, they're the only one. Now, may, they may be the best fit, but until that actually comes forward and something is actually communicated about it, there's nothing really you can do with it. You know what I mean? Chaos and confusion also as things are manifesting. Differing of opinions, maybe some inter con inner conflict. You might be feeling some inner conflict or maybe the other person is, in, is feeling some inner conflict. Five of Wands is coupled with, yes, the moon. Okay, good. 
This is more Pisces energy potentially, but it also could be Cancerian energy as Cancer is ruled by the moon. Now, there is some confusion, maybe a little bit of trouble, but things are not as they seem, Pisces. Okay? So just let this play out. Stay in your Emperor, King of Swords energy as much as you possibly can and just allow things to play out. But you see, Pisces, I kind of feel like you already see it. I, I, I mean, honestly, you do already see it. Emperor and the King of Swords. You're balanced, you're grounded, you're diplomatic, you're seeing things as they truly are. And you recognize that even though there's some confusion, maybe there's some differing of opinion, blah, 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 things are not as they seem. Okay, this is just a cycle. And in your King of Swords energy, you're very much like, all right, cool. I'm not gonna jump to conclusions. I'm just gonna let this play out and see how it goes. Stay there, Pisces, because that's excellent. That is the best place for you to be right now in terms of whatever it is you're dealing with, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for uh, the second half of your reading here, you have the Hierophant. Ooh, uh, marriage? was the first thing I picked up on here. Uh, teaching and learning too. Um, you, if you are in fact connecting with someone, you two may be working on learning about each other. And this is also why, wow, I'm feeling this very strongly. This is also why you have this 10 of pentacles here, uh, being in it for the long haul, the long term, because this really could potentially turn into a marriage situation for you. But that's not necessarily something that's just going to drop in your lap or happen at like that, okay? And and I'm not I don't want to bash anyone that does have that type of situation like you guys met and you fell madly in love and got engaged very quickly. If that works for you, excellent. Congratulations. But that doesn't always happen. That that doesn't happen very often. Often it takes time for uh, you, uh, people knowing each other, getting to know each other, even being friends for a while first before you even think about starting to date each other, right? So that's what I feel like is happening here with the Hierophant. Um, the Hierophant is coupled with, yes, the Eight of Swords. Now here's the other thing. This is also mirroring the devil energy that came out where someone is kind of in a fearful energy or unsure of themselves, not sure of how to approach the situa situation, may be attached to some sort of status quo. And here you have the Hierophant, which represents the status quo with the Eight of Swords, okay? Someone feels like they can't move forward because of established ways of being, established energies, Something like that, okay? But again, there would be that five of wands energy, that differing of opinion, the conflict, the inner tur turmoil, maybe the confusion, but things are not as they seem with the moon, all right? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you've got the three of pentacles. Okay, so you might be working together. This might be a situation where you're working together. All right, fine. Um, Self-mastery is, is key here, but also, being a teammate, being a team player. I think especially as you guys might be trying to learn about each other, um, and especially with this confusion, confusing energy, it doesn't mean that you can't be, you can't like cut to the chase and work together, okay? Be a teammate, be a team player. Show, j j show yourself through your work ethic or your, willing, your willingness to work together. And if you're not willing to work together, that could be a sign. Okay. The it, this does feel like this three of pentacles in your challenge energy does kind of feel like some sort of compromise. Okay. And when I say compromise, I'm not saying, you know, giving up part of yourself in order to make it work. I'm saying finding common ground and working from there as two independent individuals, right? And I say independent individuals specifically because of that devil energy that showed up in the pre-shuffle. I really do feel like, especially also with this 10 of swords that's here now, I feel like many of you have given up that, that sense of codependency and you're really working on being your own person, having your own life to live in order to then meet a counterpart in which you complement each other, okay? The Three of Pentacles is coupled with 
No, <laughs> the Ace of Swords. Truth, honesty, integrity, learning, figuring things out, the epiphany. I really do feel like this is learning about each other through working together. That's the challenge right now. But it's okay though, because this is all part of the process, being in it for the long haul, yes? Your closing message or potential outcome in the second half of your reading, you have, yeah, the Seven of Cups. There's confusion here. There is confusion here, but it's weeding through the confusion, okay? This kind of feels almost Knight of Pentacles-ish, not leaving any stone unturned or not leaving any cup un... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not leaving any cup uninvestigated, if that's a thing. I think you know what I'm saying. Some of you may have a bunch of options around you. And that's kind of what I was picking up here with this five of wands energy. And so some of you may have to just weed through the options to see which one is best. Even though I think you have an idea of who would be the best person. But in this king of swords and emperor energy, you're kind of like, yeah, okay. But I'm going to keep my options open right now until something more is communicated. Yep. Seven of cups is coupled with. <laughs> the queen of wands i told you y'all got options honey y'all are popping right now like straight up y'all got it going on right now okay um and this is the counterpart to that king of wands that came out before you are i mean i really do feel like this is the piscean here but you are that counterpart for most of you you are that feminine counterpart even though you might be a man um, and you don't even have to be gay. You could be heterosexual and still embody more of the feminine energy, right? That, I mean, this is literally just an energy, but most of you Pisceans, not all of you, cause obviously this is a general message, but I do feel like some there, whatever, I, you know what? I'm using words that I don't really need to. Some of you are the feminine counterpart. Others of you are the masculine counterpart. It really doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> but the feminine counterpart here is the one that has the options. Um, when it comes to the masculine counterpart in the King of Wands, um, there's confusion on how to approach this situation because this Queen of Wands here, the feminine counterpart is banging. Like she has got it going on. And I, I just heard, and she doesn't need you. And I think you're aware of that. The masculine counterpart is very aware of that. And it's like, there's a big shift that's happening here. The feminine counterpart is the one that has come out of that toxic codependent energy and is very much sitting very pretty on her throne as the queen of pentacles, having it all together. Okay. And then also as the queen of wands. And the King of Wands is kind of like, oh shit, now what do I do? This is not something I'm used to. But this is a good thing, guys. This is a very good thing. And this is also why you need to be in, you need to be in, in it for the long haul, okay? Because this is taking time to develop. And this is very beneficial for both sides because it's helping break the toxic, karmic, codependent cycles. Yes? Excellent. So getting into your closing message here, Pisces. Oracle guidance, please, spirit, for my Pisceans, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of May 2019. One last shuffle, and we'll see what we've got here. Here we go. Best message, please, spirit, for my Pisceans. There it is. Card number 40, goddess Saravati and Ammonite from word to world. Beautiful card. Saraswati. Okay. We bring you the empowerment of word to world. What you speak of with intention, you shall manifest. 
you are blessed with the creative power of an open and activated throat chakra. As you release subconscious fear of speaking your truth, memories of being silenced, and claim your true divine voice, your ability to change your world through your intention is amplified. You have the power of divine creation through sound in you. What you wish to create and experience, speak of with joy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy, Pisces. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. I hope you guys have a great month and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of June. Yeah, take care. Bye.